Radio Health for Sale, uh, my 2006 uh, 1.6 TDCI uh, Ford Focus. Um, it's a ZTEC climate, so it has the front and rear uh, heated screens, uh, full air conditioning, um, and obviously the upper trim levels that the ZTEC gets. Um, I'll do a full walk round. Um, start up the engine, show all your features, um, and hopefully give you all the information that you need. So, starting at the front, obviously you get your, your 16 inch alloys, uh, they are the really good neck, tyres are really good condition as well. Um, if you see here, I've actually upgraded the headlights. Uh, these are Angel Eye headlights, uh, and you've also got the, the daytime running lights and the, the LED side lights there. Um, makes it a real difference, there's a lot of focuses on the road and that really singles it out and there should be a picture on Gumtree um, of it, I'm, I'm going to wait till it gets a little bit darker uh, turn on the light so you can see, it gives a kind of blue glow and then obviously the white side lights and the, the Xenon uh, main beams there um, I've had the car for about 6 months um, I'm only really selling it uh, because I, I work at sea uh, and my partner already has uh, a car, so there's really no need for, for two cars in the household. Uh, I really didn't want to sell uh, mine, uh, but you know, what the boss says has to go. So, sorry to see it go. Um, like I said, fairly straight, um, not really any dings or damages down the side or round the back. Um, you've also got your spoiler and your heated rear screen. Um, two keys that come with the car. Um, just get the boot release. Now, if you just ignore my stuff in here, um, you can see really big boot uh, with the cargo net uh, and the 40, uh, 60 40 split seats. Um, huge, huge boot. I actually managed to get a full size treadmill in the back uh, with the seats down. Um, so, really, really nice there. Um, it does still have the uh, spare wheel toolkit everything like that, that's all present uh, and never been used so, close that down come around the other side um, I'll show you the inside now it's the cloth interior, the kind of grey and blue uh, kind of interior uh, really spacious in the back uh, there um, I've got a five year old uh, and he hasn't had any problems and I've had cars before where he's complained about being crushed in uh, but not had any complaints out of this one uh, front is electric windows and in the back, as you can see, there are some keep fit windows. Keep your biceps nice and fit. Um, okay, so if we go on, uh, the kind of you get the brushed down aluminium trim uh, throughout. Um, like I said, the interior is spotless. There is no stains, no marks, no rips, no tears, no scuffs, nothing at all. Really, really, really good condition. So, if I come in, okay, okay, so CD player. Um, with your clock and your radio and all that sort of thing, uh, you can also hook up your phone to it if you if you don't want to. Um, obviously, like I said, the full air conditioning uh, there uh, with the controls. Here's the the good bit. Um, you have your demister for the back window uh, and the heated front rear screen, uh, front screen there. Uh, that really is a godsend uh, in the wintry mornings. Um, no need to scrub or demist your windows, uh, you just turn that on, two minutes later, uh, all the ice is gone, lovely stuff. Um, so it's quite a spacious uh, interior, uh, quite good uh, quality, um, you've got your you know, cup holders and kind of little ducats there, um, oh so that opens as well, the armrest opens for a little ducat in there. Um, I forgot to mention, uh, the CD radio um, has... Uh, hand control so you don't need to take your hands off the steering wheel uh, it's got your mode select so cd am off that sort of stuff up and down volumes and also if you can see here this moves also to kind of skip your cd um and your radio station um as well uh okay so mechanically the car is first class uh, it has one year's mot it was just passed its mot uh today so we'll have one year's mot and Got to say when I was outside, the tax is not due up until the seventh month, July. Um, tax is only a hundred pounds for a full year, um, or 60, 50, 60 pounds for six months. Um, so very, very cheap uh, because of the emissions are low. Um, you have your headlight controls uh, here. Uh, you have your 
wash wipe uh, stuff there. On the other one is where uh, you have uh, your computer stuff and obviously the, the main beam flasher. So let's turn that on. Make sure all the lights go off. That should go off. And that's great. Now, when the car is at a standstill, you can enter the computer and uh, it tells you obviously the, the dif distances and stuff like that. Um, the settings is pretty good. Uh, you can set up your steering, uh, language, units, all that sort of thing. Your chime, so if it gets a bit annoying, um, there's a chime that goes off if you don't wear your seatbelt. Um, if you know you have low washer fluid or it's cold, you can turn all them off if that's not for you. Okay, so let's just start her up. Uh, very, very solid diesel engine. Um, good torque starts first time obviously as well um really really nice engine like i said it does easily 60 plus miles to the gallon um i filled up with fuel today uh just when i picked up from the garage i've just done a bit of town driving uh back home uh and in the town 44 miles to the gallon so uh even in town uh you're talking i mean that's the average speed 50 miles an hour so um even at the the lower end uh you're talking very very good fuel economy um as well um i was going to take it out a run but a truck has just parked behind me oh off he goes uh, so we might be able to do it now obviously we don't want to get caught or anything like that so i'm going to just take it up the street um and back down just to make sure everything's working in, in there so um it's a five speed, speed gearbox uh very smooth um so I never really had any problems with it. So if we just back out of here, um, obviously just want to make sure, uh, show everybody that you know the gearboxes and everything is uh, is all fine. So let's just that wee bit. This truck is in the way. Okay, so off we go. So, um, like I said, it's a very, very smooth car, very, very comfortable on the long journeys. Um, I've never, like I said, had any real problems with it at all. Um, I would say um, I have carried out some kind of upgrades and kind of sorted some things out that when I bought the car was, um, was issues when I bought the car, which I will go through in a little second. But like I said, um, up through the gears, uh, really, really easy um, uh, car to drive. Very, very smooth. Um, it's a great car. As far as I'm aware, it was actually a mobility car uh, for most of its life. Um, so it has been driven very carefully by little old ladies. Um, as I say, I bought it because I wanted the fuel economy. I was doing a bit of driving from Ayrshire and Glasgow. Um, so I wanted... Uh, you know, a decent bit of fuel economy. I actually had a really <laughs> bad car for fuel economy before. Um, so I wanted to kind of save a wee bit of money. Um, but yeah, like I said, very nice car. Um, when we pull up here, um, I'll just go through the document side of things. Um, what I actually have here is a code scanner for the ECU, which I will plug in and scan, um, just to show that there is no codes or anything like this for uh, the car. So, let's see, this is a scanner. You can actually buy these quite cheaply, uh, and it will read any kind of fault codes and tell you if the, if the engine management light were to come on, um, what that would mean and things like that. So, if I pop this in, just then the door there. <coughs> It will come up and scan. Um, like I said, I take this tool with me uh, to view any car. It'll obviously tell you anything that you might not be able to see. A lot of engines nowadays are just purely plastic. Uh, when you when you go through, so this is quite good. So DTC, that's your your detection codes. Uh, no codes. Um, if we go down to IM. This tells you misfire, non-applicable, that's fine, fuel ready, uh, all that stuff there as well. So there's absolutely no problems with the car um, itself. Now, when I bought the car, um, I bought it a wee bit cheaper because it had a problem with its turbo, which seems to be quite common um, with these cars. Um, 
I've replaced the turbo, the oil feed pickup pipe, uh, the banjo bolts, uh, everything that Ford recommend. Um, and as such, it's got a clean bill of health and there's no problems whatsoever. Um, also, it's had its DPF, the diesel particulate filter, replaced, which is something that comes up at 100,000 miles, supposedly with Ford. So that won't need changed um, at all. So if we just go through some of the documents that we have, let's see if I can turn on the flash here, make it a wee bit easier to see. Uh, first of all, the service booklet. Uh, like I said, um, full service history comes with the car. Um, so it's just the warranty certificate and things like that. So it's got the uh, pre-delivery inspection. Uh, that's obviously all your... your so the service history was at... 10,000, 21,000, 33,000, 40,000, 53, 69, 80, and 88. And I've got the car just at 89,000 ish. Um, and I've done 3,000 miles. Uh, so it's not due to service for another, well, about another 10,000 miles. Um, however, the oil, when I changed the turbo um, and all that sort of stuff, it did have a full oil filter change um, as, as well as, a, as part of that. Um, Ticket has been sold through Arnold Clark at some point in its life, but there's a load of kind of receipts, the old MOT uh, certificates, um, a couple of MOT, um, old MOT certificates, a couple of receipts for that. The DPF filter receipt is in there um, as well, um, and obviously all the handbooks and, and things like that as well. So very comprehensive service history. Uh, really, really good car. Uh, like I said, sorry to see it go, um, but you know, needs must. Um, so I shall pop around here. So they are, it's on Gumtree for for sale. Um, you can reach me on my email or my phone. It's available to put a view uh, anywhere in Ayrshire or Glasgow if you're calling from Glasgow or somewhere near Glasgow. I'm actually there quite a bit so I can meet you there. Um, but it will go to a very good home um, and the first person to see it will, will definitely buy it. A really really good deal. Um, obviously just see Gumtree for the price um, and uh, look forward to, to hearing from you. Thanks.